Hello, uh, welcome to the tutorials uh, for Navability. Uh, this is the intro for tutorial two uh, on non-Gaussian measurements. Uh, we have a separate get started video uh, which helps you set up your environment if you haven't seen that already, if you need it. Um, we always want to discuss and, and, and hear how we can help uh, with, with problems you might be having uh, or, or how we can bring value. Uh, please get in touch either through the website at navability.io or info at navability.io is the email um, or our Slack channel uh, which you can find linked here uh, or on our repos or the website. This example is about including ambiguous data into a navigation and mapping solution. Uh, we just wanted to highlight a few of the types of applications that could really benefit from this. So if you're navigating a ground robot or localizing ground robot uh, where the wheels are slipping or the robot's getting stuck, uh, that's, that's absolutely a, a, a case for this. Uh, if you're fusing ambiguous radar data into a navigation solution, maybe it's for driving or maybe marine applications, that's also very applicable. If you're mapping underwater structures from sonar data where there's a lot of ambiguity in the data, uh, that's really applicable. Uh, kinematic robotics, where you've got a lot of backlash or uncertainty in, in the positioning of a kinematic joints, like through arms or legs, maybe the robot's statically mounted, uh, that's also very, very applicable. Um, and then any of the multipath situations. So if you have GPS constellation where you're listening to radio ranging signals and they're getting reflected off of buildings uh, or occluded, uh, otherwise known as urban canyon, that's also very applicable. Uh, and there are many more uh, examples. We just wanted to highlight a few. So this is a very simple, one-dimensional motivational example. We'll be going to look at wheel slip. So assume this, uh, this tractor or this uh, crane, this robot up at the top here, working in a construction environment, is traversing the ground and the wheels are, are slipping in sand and the robot's getting a bit stuck. Um, that, that's how this example will work and we're going to incorporate that. So usually measurements would be a bell curve or Gaussian shape normally distributed, but you can get these situations where you've got non-Gaussian data in the measurement and we're going to include those directly. And one of the key points is how do you know when your data is ambiguous? Uh, other methods uh, you'll have to uh, or requires the developer uh, to remove that ambiguity before it's included in the localization of the SLAM system uh, and optimized together. Um, in our approach, all that ambiguous data can be brought together and, and joint inference solves that problem. Uh, if some of the sort of key results from this that you'll see in the tutorial is uh, here is again the green is sort of a multimodal belief that occurs somewhere in, in the tutorial um, and then more data gets added and ultimately gets resolved back down to unimodal uh, solutions as you see on the right where the uncertainty gets removed. So when there's ambiguity or a res resolution to certainty uh, our, our approach can solve during all of that. Um, at the very end we link out to a, a marine application example, actually a case study. On the left what you're seeing is two consecutive radar sweeps from a, from a surface vehicle. Uh, and those two radar sweeps are correlated together to produce a non-parametric uh, odometry measurement, which you see sliced on the right-hand side here. So this example is going to show you how to do it with mixture models, but uh, our approach can fully extend into non-parametrics as well as shown. So at the end of the tutorial, we do link out to that. There are two ways in which you can uh, try out this tutorial, uh, the zero install path. I'll click on that in a moment to show or uh, fetch the repos locally for yourself and, and, and run them on your local machine. So let's just quickly have a look where these are. So I'm going to click through on that. Um, here it is. Uh, this is on app.navability.io, uh, on the hamburger menu, we've got tutorials. Uh, this is the non-Gaussian measurement data example. Uh, here's the landing page, you might already be here, and you can choose your own adventure. So maybe we choose Python a zero install and use Navability SDK. And if you click begin, it will spin up a uh, a solution for that and you can uh, just wait for it to boot and load. The alternative is to uh, download it locally. Um, I'm just going to click on that too, click through. This is on GitHub, Navability, Binder Notebooks. There are multiple languages you can uh, follow. So let's maybe say Julia for this case, the Caesar API, non-Gaussian. Uh, here is the same, uh, the same content and you can download and, and, and try it for yourself. Uh, there is a separate video on how to actually walk through this tutorial uh, that's linked below uh, and we invite you to come have a look. Thanks.